watching your videos. <laughs> Basil Babes, it's your girl Joy, back with another Basil Banger, baby. Basil Banger. Eh, 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 eh. Alright. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. You see my little bun is a little crooked today. How y'all doing out there? I see how's those babies, huh? You doing okay? I hope so, sugar. Yes. <laughs> well. Today is Monday, as you already know, I don't know when I'm going to get to shop. I don't know when I'm going to get to shop. It is the end of the day. I kind of kept pressing the, the snooze button this morning. It was just one of those days where I just wanted to sleep in. It didn't have anything to do with me going to bed at 1 a.m. So I snoozed a little longer today. Okay. So today, quack, 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 quack. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, listen. So the kids came back today all the kids so my largest class right now because we still have some kids who are doing online so i have online kids i have face-to-face -face kids and kids that just don't want to do nothing i don't know it's just weird you know it just makes me have this little oh this little squeeze stress ball i keep it close I keep it close, y'all. So, I um, still have kids with tons of zeros, but they're going to pull those kids to get the work done. So, we have given a go-ahead that our last day to accept late work will be September 25th. So, that means we can accept work from August. <sighs> it is what it is. So, I had to make more room in the class. I know you saw some stuff from the other video, but then I changed it around again. And as I'm in here looking and how I feel felt the class was a little crowded certain classes um the most students i have in a class right now on my roster would be 26 and that number could go up to 30 i think last year i had 31 to 32 in a class and you know my class has alternative seating so i could right now i could fit about 28 if i had to squeeze in more seats i think i could it was a good day. They came in, you know, both sets of classes met today. It wasn't as bad as I thought. This is actually a really good group of kids. Um, I have maybe one student where I'm like, ooh, maybe we could transfer him to another class. Maybe just move him just one. One out of 180, I think that's, I, I think that's good. I think that's really good. Last year I had one student, it kind of did something to my spirit. It, it just, my spirit was, it wasn't settled with that one. Mm -mm. And I did, and I did work some magic into getting him transferred to another class. It, 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 it was something right here, the anxiety. It just, mm -mm. and I was thankful that I was able to get um, a transfer. So I might try with this one student for the whole year. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but other than that, it was, it wasn't a bad day. Um, some kids are concerned about the social distancing. There's no way. There's no way. And honestly, I think the plexiglass, you know, they have all that stuff. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll just have to hope for the best. And that's it. So I wanted to show you my little outfit. I didn't really know what I was going to wear today. I get dressed in about, it probably shows how I get dressed in about two, three minutes. So this is what I have. And I'm going to show you the second grand reveal of my room. I might, I might try something else. So I let the kids choose their seats today. Um, cause it was like, well, where's my seat? Well, I, I don't have the same seat. No, we got t two new classes, you know, two new sets of classes coming in to join as one. So no, it's going to be different. So I let the kids choose their own seats. So I've observed today who's talking too much, whose seat needs to be changed. So what I'm going to do, I, I can print out little pictures of everybody and I already, and I already mapped out a blueprint of the room. And I'll design this on a computer and then I'll print their little pictures out and then 
um, I laminate everything and I can move um, the little seats around because I need the pictures. So that's what I do. So I'll probably work on that tonight after I work on my PowerPoint for tomorrow. So we did a review and the classes went by fast today. You know, I had my little intro. It wasn't bad, it wasn't a bad day. The kids, I will say, once again, I know I, I'm a, I repeat myself, just quite, quite, just act like you just hearing it for the first time, okay? So anyway, still working on trying to motivate them to do work. So I was like, if you don't wanna uh, do your work, you have until the 25th, it's gonna be very hard for you to catch up because it's hard to recover from a 20 or 30 average. So once you there, that's where you kind of stay. It's hard to come back from that. I'm gonna show you the room again, okay? I'm gonna show you the room, sis, yes. And what I did with the kids today, I showed them how to annotate a poem. Cause poetry is not very easy, but if you can master poetry, you can master anything, okay? Seriously, so calm down. Let me show you my outfit of the day, and I'm gonna get out of here. I, I don't mind working for my bed. You know what? I asked Bobby to make me some collard greens. I told her what to do. Let, hold on, hold on, calm down. Let me tell y'all what I did. So I thought I was like the turkey hut. This is place called the turkey hut, the turkey leg hut, and they make some good turkey legs with all kinds of different toppings you can get on turkey legs. So I call myself buying some smoked turkey legs. They were big, giant turkey legs. And I, I, I knew not to put no salt on them. So I just put onion powder, garlic powder, some garlic, some onions, and I wrapped them up really well. And I just put them in the oven on low for about four or five hours. Cause they already cooked. Baby, those things were salty. I was ready to borrow somebody's blood pressure medicine because I was like, what in the world? And some said, Joy, you may need to boil these first, get some of the salt. I wasn't thinking. I don't know. They were, oh my God, they were too salty, y'all. So what I'm doing, I told Bobby, I said, it's going to be too late by the time I get home. So I bought some um, collard greens and some mustard greens. You mix them together because I feel like something green. So I said, Bobby, use those turkey legs, cover them with water, maybe an inch above with water and let it cook slowly because we could get all that juice and stuff out of those turkey legs plus have a little bit of meat that's not gonna make my blood pressure go up and then you throw the greens in there and let it cook down right so i don't know if she did that but honey i could not do those turkey legs they were good the flavor was popping but i was like these need to be boiled first or something it's too salty how do y'all make your turkey legs please leave it in the comment section below because they were too salty for me y'all they were good, but baby, mm-mm. So anyway, let me show you this outfit, y'all. Let me show you what I got on today. It's crazy, y'all know I'm crazy. So, you know, on Mondays, we can wear um, the school shirt. Hold on. We can wear the school shirt on Mondays and jeans. So I still have on jeans. And I have this skirt, it kind of feels like um, spongy. It's like a spongy. I don't know, it's like a, it's spongy and stretchy. And I wish I had something that would hold it out. I think it's called a petticoat, I'm not sure. And then I just put this, first I just had this on. And I was like, ah, I'm not really feeling it. So then I put the jacket on with it. And my little shoes. <laughs> so, um... And I put my little bandana. I don't have a lot of shoes, so you're gonna see these a lot. I wanna get some Doc, what do they call it? Doc, Doc Martens, but I want the ones that come up to your knees. So I might try to treat myself to those for my birthday. So you know, my birthday's coming up, and every year, the last couple of years, I went live on my birthday and hung out with you guys. So, I guess I'll do it again two weeks into my birthday. I don't really do anything for my birthday, but I do enjoy um, hanging out with you guys for my birthday. And um, Bobby says she'll make me a cheesecake. And I'm good with that. I don't know, probably, I don't know, maybe eat some seafood. I, I don't know. But I'll hang out with you guys if you guys are willing to hang out with me. Um, it'll be during the week, so I'll try to just do an early one. So we can all hang out together. Um, I think my birthday is on a Tuesday. I don't even know, it's October 1st. I don't know. Remember I was gonna hang out with you guys last year and I think I did it the next day. I think I, I was upset, it just wasn't a good birth. I don't know, I don't really get excited over my birthday. Some years I'm good, I'm like, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna celebrate by myself, I don't care. So it's on a Thursday. 
My birthday's on Thursday, so I'll see y'all Thursday on the live, okay? October 1st. Be there or be square. But I, I did the last three birthdays with you guys. Two birthdays or three. I'm, I don't remember. Keep your calendars clear for that. Yeah, I'm going to go home. I'm going to work from home. I'm getting up out of here.